Yeah, I hope Sarah doesn't show up right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be like, oh I my god. Oh. <laughs> We're back at my house today because we've got just a couple of days before our Christmas break begins. We have nothing to do, and I have a project that I want some help with right there. It's the ball magnet. All of our basketballs end up in this pond, and I fish them out just about every day. So today, we're gonna fill in this pond with an excavator. We're gonna take what we have here, like the stones or whatever, and make a fire pit and the seating out of the materials that are provided to mm. us by the existing pond, okay. hopefully for very little money, and have something awesome instead of a ball catch. Weirdly enough, I have drained this whole thing. I took the soil probe and punched about 500 holes in this thing. And I guess they've all filled back in with leaves and it rained and it filled back up. Mm. Dude, this is going to be one muddy, nasty, yucky pit. I wonder why this didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, these lights have never worked. That's why. The other thing I don't know, weirdly enough, is what breaker all this stuff is on on the inside because nothing is labeled as the outdoor patio area. So that cord went to the thing you just pulled up there? Yeah, that was... Okay, that oh. did work because... <gasps> oh, oh, race oh. in the pond. <laughs> so is there anything labeled? Uh, there is outside. All right, try that. Let me figure out what number that is. All right. Nope. Not it. Not it. Um. Whirlpool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet that's it. All right. Nope. <laughs> this is impossible. That was garage lights. Nope. Nope. So we finally found the breaker that that's on. It's the downstairs bedroom, which I would not have guessed. I actually love projects like this where it's just figure it out as you go. There's no plan. Yeah. I don't know. Everything's so planned out, building a house. This is just like go crazy, do whatever you think. It's going to be good. Whew. That's there's a pump, all right. There's a pump. The other problem with this pond, as you can see, is the pump got clogged with leaves instantly, <laughs> all the time. A couple of times I have had to reach my whole arm in here and just like clean this. It's just like, I'm thinking I'm gonna grab a snake or a frog or something. It's just terrible. Where's it's the worst. Coming? I'm guessing you did not put it in low gear. I didn't. I should have because I was like, I know my transmission's going to start smoking coming up that first hill there. Yeah. So I had to get a little speed on this one. I was, I was with the it. drone. I could barely keep up with you. Then all of a sudden I hear tires burning Dude. right there. I was like, oh no. Dude, I mean, it's bad. At least it's pavement. Yeah. Because I've done this on gravel and it's hopeless. <laughs> The trickiest part here of this whole thing is me getting this machine to back there around the rest of my yard without tearing the crap out of my yard, which tracks like this will do. I got it. No, you don't. placing a divot on the golf course. I'm gonna creep up here and try to get this liner out of here or get a hole in it or something here. I really was 
was considering doing this without an excavator, but that's... You got bigger friends than us, I think. I, well, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. That is deep. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one right there. That's going to be a good seat right there, Daddy. This isn't draining like I was hoping quickly at all, so I think I'm gonna try to trench this out and then we'll go eat lunch. Yeah, Let it drain. It what a mess. This looks terrible <laughs> right now. It's, it's a mess. This is way more of a mess than I was expecting. I actually had this pond completely dried out like three days ago and then it rained like an inch yesterday. So this is just bad timing. Sarah's here. <laughs> what do you think, honey? Look at my yard. Look at my pond. My beautiful pond. <laughs> we made a mess. I think we've done all the damage we can do here for now. So I think all we can do is just fill this in with the dry dirt, try to make it as level and compacted as nice as possible. Okay, 20 minutes on the excavator and it looks way better than I thought it would. We're mostly flat. I can drive the excavator across it without sinking. So I wouldn't want to pave a road across this, but for a fire pit that's gonna have gravel on it, I think we're golden. Wow. <laughs> we do want the water to run from here, sort of off the edge. So we're gonna check here, old school way, just a big long plank and a level. See what we got. Pretty good pitch. That's it right there. Uh, take it on down from there and make sure you're still doing the same thing. We do have a laser level, a couple laser levels, but for this small of an area, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, you're holding it up there. Yeah. And you're holding it up like an inch and a half. Okay. So it's dropped from about here to there. It's about three inches drop which is about right. We're gonna recess this fire pit down like a foot or so. I, I know what you're thinking. Don't even say it. The machine is right there. This is so nice. No! <laughs> right now. Dude, I, would hate, no, no. I would hate to just tear into it again with this machine. Let's get the, let's get the shovels. Suck, dude. Oh, I don't want, I got a machine coming. It'll be so easy. Drew a nice circle, but it's in the wrong spot. But yeah, it's too close to these trees. Yeah. We're definitely catching trees on fire. Today's video is brought to you by Bespoke Post and they deliver a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. And 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every month they introduce their members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even live oysters based on a preference quiz you fill out. And they now offer a new membership program where you can get really great deals all year round, like 30% off or more sometimes, and it's totally free to join. This is a melon hydro hat, and it beads water so it doesn't get wet, and it floats. So if I drop it in the lake, like off my head in the water off the boat, it floats, and I can just go get it. And this attire care activewear spray is going to keep my workout clothes from smelling like you know what, <laughs> spray a little bit of that on there. It brings them back to life and I won't smell so terrible. This is the canteen box, which I was really excited about. It's something I'll use every day because I take lunch with me to the job site every day. It's a really nice sleek setup. I'm gonna have a little style along with my lunch. I've got Porter lunch container and utensils that are nice packaged up by WNP. And I also 
have this really nice carrying bag by Hedgehog Lunch. Last box, I have this bare bones hatchet and it's for the new fire pit so I can chop kindling without having a full size ax so that should be better. And also we're gonna practice throwing this thing, like a throwing ax, because we have a place here in Waynesville now where you can go do that with your friends and we wanna get good so we can win. To get a free mystery gift with your first purchase, click the link in the video description and enter Perkins Gift at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash Perkins Gift. Thank you Bespoke Post for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. You guys gotta leave my camera person alone, dogs. <laughs> this it's is impossible. not working. <laughs> it's impossible. Give it a shot. Yeah, that's it right there, dude. <laughs> All right. There's our seating and we didn't do any measuring. Jason literally just came up here and did like this when we were done. Almost 12 foot lengths between this way and that way. And I don't know, I mean, I think it looks pretty sweet. Yeah, this one's a little low, but it's good for the kids. Okay. A little bit smaller one for the kids, bigger ones. Got a little bench style going on over here. You need a circle drawn in your lawn, just call Jason. Wow. We do have an excavator right here, but I'm just gonna hand dig this because I don't wanna make a huge mess. And also I wanna spread this dirt nice and evenly around here so water doesn't flow right in here. I wanna pitch it away just kinda nice by hand. How deep are we going is the question. How deep are we going? I don't know. I was kind of thinking like a foot. What do you think? <laughs> well. Feeling like we're sloping away pretty good here now. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> when we started this morning, I never in a million years thought that we would get this far. No. Dude. I was like, dude, we showed up, the machine wasn't even here yet. I'm like, wait, <laughs> I thought you got the machine. <laughs> oh, kids are sick. <laughs> and dude, now it's like, we could throw some wood in there right now and have a beer. A fire, you mean? I mean, yeah, a fire and then a beer. <laughs> Trying to get Sarah over here so we can show her how much better it looks now. Does it look bad earlier? Uh, I think she's on Amazon. Oh, I love it. Wow. We already had the rocks. I know. Cool. And we got more rocks. Yeah, we got lots of extra rocks. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Freezing. What's up? What's up? Oh wow, it's frozen like a brick. Dude, that's the thing, it is totally frozen. How you feel after yesterday? I'm a little sore. Are you? Yeah. Okay, glad sore. it's not just yeah. me. <laughs> I was so sore that I couldn't go to sleep. Like, oh really? Yeah, my forearms, like my tendon yeah. feeling muscles in there and my lower back and like shoulders, everything was just totally worked by them rocks. Yeah. Um, they have desk jobs you could probably get. <laughs> I know, I was thinking about that. I told Sarah, I was like, if I had to do that every day, oh, forget well, I'd either be ripped or I'd be crippled, yeah, one or the other. Like 
Yeah, I'm super jealous, dude. Like, we pulled up, I was like, I told her, I'm like, this is like crap you see at like a resort. You know, like, yeah. this is like legit. This is not your average just little fire pit. This is freaking legit. Yeah, Sarah's like, wow, looks like we're at a national park at a campground. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's what it's like. It's freaking awesome. Now, last time we were at the dump, remember Ray gagged and almost threw up? Yeah. You ready this time? I'm, uh, I'm trying my best. It does smell just as bad. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Ray? So far, so good. I've only taken two breaths since I've been here, though. Fresh air. <laughs> you did good, Ray. I did. You did real good. I did better. We're trying to get through Lowe's, but <laughs> Jason can't get past this grill. Let's go. Here's something I've never seen. It's an all-in-one washer dryer. Yep, it's the new craze. It's in the same. That totally makes sense. You don't have to switch no it. No load transfer, two jobs in one, two wow. hour wash, dry How much time. Is it? Oh my gosh. Ooh, bucks. I don't know. And why didn't somebody think of this a long time ago? I'm having major regrets. We could have been retired by now if we'd have just thought of this Seriously. before we ever thought of that. Yeah. I think this is gonna catch on though. I mean, just the space saving. Yeah, and not, I hate switching, switching wet laundry. Yeah. It's the worst. Dude, you just hit it and leave and you come back and it's dry. Yeah, I think we all forgetting we, we about got it. how it works. No, I'm saying you forget about the washer being done. You got to put oh, it yeah, in yeah. the dryer. Like. And then the clothes get all mildewy smelling. Yeah. I've never wanted an appliance so badly. All right. It's got a bigger screen than your old truck. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> all right, we're looking at these river pebbles that are much larger than regular pea gravel. Yeah, that looks but I think nice. It's probably going to be nicer. See if I can even push this thing. Get back up, buddy. Back up. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Where we go? I think we just take this stuff to register and then go get whatever else we need. This is our low voltage wire and the lights just like crimp on and pierce the housing to get connection. So we got a 50 footer. Just gonna sort of run it around, make sure that's gonna get it. I'm gonna have two lights there and a spot that way. And then we'll get across here, two lights and a spot that way. I think it's just enough, Ray. Okay. Once the cable gets kind of straightened out, this is our transformer for the low voltage. It's got a photo sensor right there. So hopefully it'll just come on at dusk and go off when it gets light. Oh yeah, she's frozen up. Okay. So this is low voltage wiring and it's really weird. It's not like regular wiring where it has to make a loop and connect. These two wires just run out and just dead end over there. And I don't know how that all works, but it does work. We just connect these to the box here and then we'll crimp those other lights onto the wire. Now for connecting the other end, which is the lights, Ray did figure out that these screw off so you don't have to feed the cable in line through all these, that makes it easier. So once that's off, we just snap this around the cable, make sure it's flat, yep and then screw this back on whichever way. I don't think it matters which way, does it, Ray? I don't think so. I didn't attach the other two to any particular. They were like the same, so. So this is just gonna squeeze those little wire fins through the rubber or plastic housing and cut into the wires themselves, hopefully. We finally tested the lights and got them to work so we can do the mulch, but first we're gonna eat some tacos. I never trust the man that turns down tacos, so I forced him to come eat the leftovers of what we offered last night. And I was just gonna check which hot sauce he went with, buddy. We got. I just went with Texas Pete. I don't know, all the okay. other stuff kind of scares me. Oh. Mm. I do like some pickles. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is going on? Pickles on your taco? No, just off to the side, dude. Oh. No. Hmm. I might put them on him. Don't judge. 
Ray has got our weed block fabric here. This was the most expensive and thickest one they had, which was still not expensive. We're gonna roll that everywhere. If people don't know already how this fabric works, <laughs> it keeps weeds from growing up and lets water through. So we're gonna do that. Oh, that's nice. To the rhythm of the violent breeze. The gravel looks fantastic, but I did not want to run it out to the concrete there and there because we have this nice round thing going right now that looks really good. So what we're gonna do for little steppers is dig in some flat rocks and we'll just mulch around them. I think like that, Jay. Something like that face there. I don't know who we were trying to kid here, but Jason's not leaving. He's starting a fire. Yeah. <laughs> He's already after blood. <laughs> Looks like Jason's going stack instead of chimney here. Yeah, I something new. I've been. I guess it's the new wave now. My dad would probably kill me if he saw me do this. <laughs> he taught me. He taught me TP my whole life. You do your kindling like this. Okay. How many fingers you lost doing that? <laughs> None yet. <laughs> you cross up your skin on a couple more times. And you go back to your stack. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is real exciting. Do you have a lighter? No, I need a torch. That's a big fire, but it looks small inside this fire. Dude, pit. that's six pieces of wood <laughs> and kindling. We're gonna have that's to have no, big fires. That's in here. legit right there. Yeah, you're gonna have to get some big stumps and everything. Now, let's just lay a pallet right across here, dude. Well, I thought we were done, but Sarah pointed out that there's a gap right there. So I got your one rock. You wanna do it? Thank you. All right. There you go. You like it? This looks stupid. There's a big old gap right there. She don't like it at all. Oh no, quit looking, quit looking. We're done. <laughs> 